Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Natasha Jamieson, host of Natasha's Lips, Tips and Great Flips. On our show we address various aspects on wellness with helpful advice that is beneficial to living an exceptional life. This is my passion and I hope that I inspire you to live your own. We are delighted to have what I call the dream team on the show today. We welcome Clarity and Life Balance coach Maxine Blaygrove. She is here to help us find necessary balance and purpose in our life. Also here with us today is Integrated Peak Performance Consultant and Advisor, Alvin Brown. We will be discussing how a flippin' mindset is an essential component in pursuit of personal greatness. Also joining us is the force behind the lifestyle brand, Love More by Shares, my very good friend, Cher. She will inspire us to embrace our story, to trust the process, and be a light to others. But we begin the show by talking trends with my sidekick, Gail Harrington. Gail, welcome back. Hi, Natasha. I always love having you. Thank you. I love being here. Good. Talking trends with my bestie. So we are talking <laughs> baby bangs, which I'm laughing because I have a story to share, and the witch hazel, which is the new old school superhero. Mm -hmm. Witch hazel. Mm -hmm. Yes, you heard correctly. We're going to start with baby bangs. Okay. So there's a new trend in the hair world. Okay. Okay. Very indicative of Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast at Tiffany's, which is fabulous on her. Oh, what a great look on her. It's gorgeous. Oh, was it a great look on you? No. Well, I'm just going to explain what baby bangs are, and then I'm going to tell you the Natasha story or version of it. So baby bangs are cropped very short. Okay, so it's basically going to be, you know, creating a more edgier haircut or hairstyle. Mm -hmm. You know, it's at the forefront. It's, it's to predict it to be the top trend this year. It can actually open your eyes, your features, all of that. It's very chopped and very blunt bangs, but they're, they're not very long at all. They're very short and you can't pin them back. So it's a commitment. So I would say if you don't want to, you know, delve into that area, you might want to do a faux bang and try it out. Let right. me tell you why you should do a faux bang before you try it out. Because Natasha wanted to, this is years ago, wanted to be cute like Katy Perry. I just want to be cute like her. So not cute. I cut my own bangs like Katy Perry. And, you know they, the weren't, short one? and they weren't cute? I don't even have the words, Gail. It's, it was just tragic. Tragic is probably the word. Oh, no. And um, yeah, and my hair is very curly. You know that I blow this out. It's not how it usually is. Right. <laughs> and I had to live with that because I couldn't pin them or anything, but I could slick them back. So thankfully, I don't need a lot of hair around my face. I can pull it off. But you need to consult with a professional and I should have consulted with a professional other than me. You need the second pair of eyes to tell you, no, oh, Natasha, right. stop yourself. Right. This is not a good look for you. <laughs> and like I said, I had to painfully grow them out. So that's what we're looking at, baby bangs. It's not for everybody, but you can have a variation. Okay. Okay. So go to your professional, which is what I should have done, and they will, you know, customize based on your facial shape and, you know, the kind of style that you already have. Mm -hmm. That's what I would suggest. Mm -hmm. You know, you can have some sort of a variation of a bang that's mm -hmm. on trend, but maybe not the baby bang. So the theme here always is consult a professional. It should have been, you think, for me, but I just didn't. I don't know, Gail. I don't know what to say. It was just not, it was so not cute. No, and clearly it's yes. still with you, Natasha. It's so, painful. Um, it's just painful. I'm just having flashbacks. <laughs> but now we're going on to witch hazel. Okay. Okay. Old school witch hazel, which was, you know, an astringent, anti-inflammatory. Um, it's being revived. Mm -hmm. They're kind of putting better ingredients mm -hmm. into it, like rose water yes. and aloe vera. Yes. Minus the alcohol, which is very drying. Yes. So more double duty. More double seeing. duties. More double duties. Yeah. And basically, the, the trend is that, you know, every skin, skin tone and uh, skin type can, you know, use this, especially, you know, for those people that are maybe like a little hesitant, right. you know, to use certain toners and things mm -hmm. like that. It's great for shutting those, you know, pores mm -hmm. and unclogging them. And if you have any kind of like a skin issue, it can address mm -hmm. that. And reasonably priced. It's very, I mean, I don't really know exactly where they're going to take it. It just depends what they put into it. Yes. But for right now, it's very reasonably yes. priced. And, you know, instead of like, you know, paying an arm and a leg for some of the other, you know, 
poor refining agents and mm -hmm. astringents. I mean, mm -hmm. consider this, it's a, it's a top trend right now. And where will people find it? In your local drugstore probably general shopping store that's what I would say right. um, and it's going to probably be available at a few different price price points mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it's something to be thinking about because mm -hmm. that is the next trend you know I know that you know you used to use it as well <laughs> but yes. this was back in the day right? I remember this back, back in, the in the day, day. Yes. yes but that's yeah. okay and this again as we keep finding everything that's old is new again yeah they're reviving it a little bit you know yes, to putting in more be beneficial a, factors yeah better technology yeah, absolutely yeah. so just to keep so, in mind yeah. ixnay for me on the baby bangs right but are you going to try the witch I'm going to yes, absolutely. It has a lot of benefits for like you know evening out your skin tone and you know shutting the helping pores, helping with pores, helping which we, and acne we, uh, as well. Yes. You know, there's a, it's an anti-inflammatory, antiseptic. Yeah. So definitely something to think about for sure. All right. And again, that's all the time okay. that we have. That's how it just boom. All right. Flies when well, you talk about baby bangs, things yes. just fly. <laughs> so we'll catch you back here another yes, time. Yes, absolutely. Yes. And up next, we speak with Maxine Blagrove. Stay with us. Natasha's Lips, Tips, and Great Flips is sponsored by AMMA Ajax Mixed Martial Arts Academy, offering classes in Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for all men and women. Sign up now for your free one-month membership. Also offering Women's Strength and Conditioning Body Blast Boot Camp includes a one-week free trial. St. Nadala Macedonian Orthodox Church, located in Ajax, Ontario. Offering banquet hall facilities for your weddings, celebrations, and special events, accommodating up to 250 guests. Welcome back. Here with us now is Clarity and Life Balance Coach Maxine Blagrove. She is the CEO of the lifestyle company Live Well with Maxine, offering various wellness services, helping you find balance and purpose in life. Maxine is here to discuss the importance of intentional positive thinking, visualization, and meditation practices that assist in, in achieving balance. Maxine, welcome to the show. Thank you, Natasha. I'm so excited to have you on this powerhouse show because we often forget to put ourselves on our own to-do list, causing devastating consequences to our wellness. So having said that, your lifestyle brand, Live Well with Maxine, is not only necessary, but inspirational. What is your mission? Well, my mission is really just to help people to adapt and maintain a positive lifestyle. And by doing that, it's just uh, basically taking care of themselves every day, self-care, um, eating properly, getting the rest, and just loving yourself. Yeah, putting yourself yeah. on the list. Because yep. if you are not at your best, you can't be there for your family. Exactly. Exactly. It's mm -hmm. a full circle. Yes. How do we go through or get through the process of dealing with our problems and challenges and go come out on the other side? Walk us through that. People sometimes can't. They just get paralyzed and they stop because mm -hmm. it's too hard, it's painful, they're afraid, they don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. I think that you have to believe in yourself and you have to believe that you actually deserve that. I always have to tell people that. Believe that you deserve to live a better life, a more quality life, mm -hmm. and, um, and just have a visual, visualize what you want your life to look like. And once you have that vision, you work towards it. So it starts yeah. with like visualizing? Yes. Because some people that they can't. They can't. They just yeah. can't. Mm -hmm. So, you know, believing in yourself, yes. that just seems like a mountain that they have to climb. Mm -hmm. How do you start? Like, what is the very first thing that they can do? You know, we all have a, a, a life plan. That mm -hmm. plan, that vision that will let you know that it's that feeling that you've lived a, well, a, la a life that you feel you've accomplished something. Mm -hmm. And I had to go through that myself. Right. I had to envision really what, I, what did I want, what purpose did I purpose. have in this life. Yes, you have to have a purpose. Yes. Because you can go on with life just working and doing and being without realizing your true purpose. And just once existing, you, right? Existing, yes. That's a really hard mm -hmm. way to live. It, it is. is so difficult. Mm -hmm. So with all things relating to wellness, which is the focus of our show, where do we start to change the shift? How does it begin? That shift that's so necessary to take it to the next level. Once you believe in yourself and you know, maybe you're, you're, you're facing it. Right. You know, the truth. You know, the shift can come in different forms. Some people, it's a breakthrough, a period in their life where something happens. Right. Sometimes it's catastrophic, sometimes it's actually an aha or okay. something. That shift is going to come when you actually feel like you've hit rock bottom, right? So you, you almost have to 
Almost, right? I mean, sometimes it takes a, a kick in the butt, to, yeah. so to speak, right? Yeah. To say, you know what? I'm tired of living this way. I want to improve my life, right? What can I do to start? And sometimes it needs, you need somebody to coach you along or to help you figure out with, with some clarity as to how, what, how do you get there, right? And do you I have think, to cut things out of your life yes, that's painful for yeah. people? Sometimes you have to do that. And you have to make that choice. Mm -hmm. And that's where the, turning, the breaking point comes in, right? Right. Yeah. Um, tell us about your visualization practices that work with you, that you work with with, with, spect with, with respect to your clients mm -hmm. and how you know, they're able to kind of benefit from it. I think that you have to visualize, like I said before, what, what is your optimum life plan? Like what, what is it that you want to achieve, mm -hmm. right? And once you can visualize that, you start to put action into plan, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I work with people by helping them to get to, like what the blockage is. There's sometimes, okay. yeah, sometimes you want to get to a certain um, point in your life and there's something that's um, triggering you to stop or propel. Right? right. So I work with that plan that you have, whether it's to uh, maybe lose 50 pounds or 100 pounds or, or climb Mount Everest or run a marathon. It, so, can it be yeah. career or financial or health or mm -hmm. it can be anything? It can be anything. Maybe you want to own a yacht or you want okay. to own a few properties. Whatever it is, that vision you have that um, you can work towards and that's how I, I work with the clients. Yes, the practice yeah. of monitoring our thoughts is so important and life-changing, but there are many people watching that yeah. will think it's just wishful thinking. Mm. But I have heard literal stories of Olympians mm -hmm. that have gone to the location where they're going to compete right. and they have like had these intense visualization practices right. and have won. Absolutely. So tell me about that because people need to know that there's power in these, right. these techniques. I think that they have to get the fear out of their minds, mm -hmm. right? And the, the fear and the doubt that they will not be able to achieve that, mm -hmm. right? Because if you, ha if you have your mindset to be an Olympian mm -hmm. or whatever it is, mm -hmm. you can do it, Absolutely. right? And it just takes training and discipline. Yes. And once you get that fear out and just believing in yourself. Believe in yourself. In yeah, I love absolutely. that message. We're going to end on that. Thank yes. you so much for being a oh, part of the show. Thank you for having thank me. You. Thank you. Absolutely. Up next, we speak with Alvin Brown. Stay with us. Natasha's Lips, Tips, and Great Flips is sponsored by Synchronicity Durham. By collaborating within each level of the community, the main purpose of Synchronicity Durham is to empower every open-minded citizen in Durham region with the tools and resources to achieve their greatest dreams, goals, and passions. Welcome back. Here with us today is Integrated Peak Performance Consultant and Advisor Alvin Brown. He is the celebrated author of The Journey to Personal Greatness, Mind, Body and Soul. Alvin is here to help us understand how a flip in mindset is the essential key necessary in pursuing our personal greatness. Alvin, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I appreciate I'm it. I'm so excited to have you. I can't even tell you yeah, because it's it. all about Mindset. mindset it's it all about it that is. so let me start out by asking what is the very first step that we can take in order to create an actual change in our thinking okay great question i think number one is we we think thinking is automatic but we just actually roll through sixty thousand thoughts and the same thoughts every day what we have to do is start to check our thoughts for validity. Is it valid? Are we even thinking the right thoughts to get us where we want to go? Right. So the first thing to do is to start to be mindful. Think about what the content mm -hmm. of your thoughts and what they're doing to you. So that's the first thing. If it's not getting where you want to go, it's time to start to dissect it and check it. Is it valid? Mm -hmm. Does it still work for you? Why do you believe that mindset has become such an important factor in our world? There's a mindset for everything. Mm -hmm. So if we constantly have to be mindful of what's you know, going in our, mm -hmm. in our thoughts and what we need to kind of be aware of and remove mm -hmm. on a day-to-day -day basis, yeah. why is it so important? Well, today, it's, look at today, it's moving fast, a lot of information. Just that smartphone in your hand yes. is connecting you to so much information. Anytime anybody has a thought, they just put it out, they tweet it, they Instagram it. So you're rolling through those feeds and you're getting a, a ton of thoughts coming in and, and every feed triggers another emotion. So oh. today, m having your mindset in check is key because you can get led astray. We see it all in, even in politics today. Yeah. 
overwhelmed, stressed, too much information. That's what's happening. Yeah, a numbing. A numbing, numbing happens. That's what happens. When I prepare for the interview, mm -hmm. I take the position of people that are watching and what they would, you know, want mm -hmm. to ask. So I too also suffer, you yeah. know, with, you know, self-mastery. Mm -hmm. Why as individuals do are we our own worst critics? Well, that that comes from if you look back in the the more rustic times, we survival-wise, we had to think negative to survive. It's a survival mechanism. We had to think negative because if the times were more dangerous, we couldn't be always positive. Oh, here's a rustling bush. Let me jump behind that bush and take a look at what mm -hmm. it is. No, we had to be more suspicious. So mm -hmm. take it forward now. We have a tendency to be more negative. It's a survival. It's a protective thing right. to protect our soul now and to protect ourselves physically back then, but now to protect our, our soul space. So mm -hmm. that's why we, we have a tendency to be more negative than positive. Yeah. Can, can that be changed? Like with, if you, you know, pay attention and you're mindful of your thoughts and you work yeah, on it, yeah. can you flip that? Even though maybe you have a tendency to yeah. go more negative, yes. is that something that can be flipped? Yes, it can, but it takes a lot of exposure. People think that oh, okay. when I read a book, when I read a good book or I saw a movie, I'm going to be motivated for a long time. No, you don't, you don't stay very long. If you're not embedding yourself or engrossing yourself in the information or in the material mm -hmm. consistently and constantly, you will revert back. It's just our nature. So we constantly have to be moving forward. Expose yourself to that Expose. environment, to the people around you, to the material constantly. Mm -hmm. So having the right mindset is part of the puzzle, of mm -hmm. course, but our actions need to be in alignment as well. Mm -hmm. Can you explain that to our viewers? Why okay, that's, that's important? That's a great, another great question because you, can, you and I could theorize all day long, mm -hmm. but it's only what we do that will become real for us because there's, a, there's also a nervous system thing about doing. Mm -hmm. uh, doing causes the nervous system and the part of the brain to finally become wired to that habit that you want to change. Okay. Just theorizing all the time is only about 20% of it. 80% is in the actions yeah. you take. It's almost like athletes. Yes. You know, you've done martial arts mm -hmm. and golfers. It's repetition. Mm -hmm. Those things solidify the, the habit, the new habit. Yes. So I want to address the terms of fixed mindset mm -hmm. and growth mindset. Mm -hmm. And can we flip it to a growth mindset? Fixed is things that basically you, you feel, you know, are hereditary. You can't, you can't improve. Right. Yes. Please go ahead. Yeah, definitely. You can, the human being has the power to do anything. The difference between us and, say, birds who have to fly north in the, you know, they have to fly north in the summer and the, they have to fly south in the winter. It's driven. It's a genetic code. They're driven. Mm -hmm. We have this ability, which is double-edged sword. We have this ability to do, to have choice. So we can do anything we want, but it takes more work. If you're set yourself up for 40, 50 years of being a fixed mm -hmm. mindset person, it's going to take more focus and tension to change. Yeah. Anything is possible, but Anything's it possible. just comes from an intention. I'm going to leave it on that note. Right. Thank you awesome. so much for being Thank a part of the show, you. Alvin. Thank you. And up next, we speak with Cher. Stay with us. Natasha's Lips, Tips, and Great Flips is sponsored by St. Nadala Macedonian Orthodox Church, located in Ajax, Ontario, offering banquet hall facilities for your weddings, celebrations, and special events, accommodating up to 250 guests. Invictus Equality. We are the mistresses and the masters of our gender equality destiny. Welcome back. Joining us now is everyone's favorite love ambassador, my very good friend, the one and only Cher. She is the force behind the lifestyle brand Love More by Cher's and the recent winner of the Judges' Choice Awards at Speaker Slam. The Love More philosophy embodies, inspires, and manifests the best that is inside us all through the gifts of love and gratitude. Cher will inspire us to embrace our story, to trust the process, and spend our time wisely being a light to others. Cher, welcome. Welcome back. Thank you so much. I'm impressed. You did a lot of work. I yes, I did. Oh, you did your Thank homework. you. I did my homework, oh Miss uh, Lovemore. Yes, I did. Thank you so much. <laughs> How awesome. My pleasure. Um, I read one of my favorite quotes of yours that said, "When you tell your story to the right hearts, it helps to set you free." Tell us. This is so powerful. Tell us about it. Um, our story is so important. Our story matters. And a lot of times we're traveling, not knowing that what we've gone through and our story, it's not only for us, but it's also to help others, to inspire Absolutely. others, to help others heal. Because a lot of times when others hear our story, 
they don't feel alone. And it also helps to bring light to what they're going through and to help them on their journey. So it is important for us to share and to tell our story. Yes, it is. Because when you are not going through it and you're hearing about it, there's another level of perception that happens. You are able to understand it more. Absolutely. Yes. The word purpose is used by many very, very often, stating that the purpose of life is a life with purpose. Why do you think this philosophy is so important? Well, I actually printed that sign. I'm telling you, kudos to you for digging Thank you, so Ms. deep. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause on that. Um, well, for me, purpose is is a word. It's not just a word. It is what changed me to become love more and why I'm here. Um, purpose knocked on my door. It it's my life. It what fuels me every day. It even when I don't want to get up, purpose wakes me up. And purpose for me is love more. Yeah. Sharing love, yes. um, being committed to getting up each and every single day, being committed to not only loving myself, but also loving others. Yes, that's huge. It is absolutely huge and it is absolutely necessary. It's so necessary. But how do we begin to make space for a better internal dialogue with those people that don't really find self-love? And what needs to happen? Well living from the inside out living from the inside living out. from the inside out is when you really start living that's true it's you know we have first of all it starts with the dialogue start with us yes what are we telling ourselves yes who we are inside is what the world see right so it how do we make that better um you just have to be truthful to yourself Mm -hmm. You have to know that what you're telling and feeding and what's coming from the mm -hmm. inside, you have to know that you are in charge of that. Right. You have to be very mindful of what am I telling myself? Taking what am in. I feeding here right. that's going to land here? Yes. So it starts with us identifying and knowing that we are responsible for feeding our inside, what we're telling ourselves, what, what's depositing here mm -hmm. that's showcasing to the world. So that you can be of service to the world. So we can be of service. And it's powerful as it well. It is powerful. It's yes. the way that the life has changed. Absolutely. When you can incorporate it into somebody else's life and community and society, that's right? So when true. you can help somebody else. Great Why question. do you believe that there's such an urgent need in our society to reach out and connect with others? There's an essential element clearly that's lacking. So what are we lacking? Um, and I'm sure the computer screens and uh, phones are not and, helping. And social media. I, <laughs> I often make the, the comment, and I think I've shared that with you many times. Human beings need human beings. They do. We were created to connect, to touch, to feel, to hug. I mean, to laugh, even the, everything. Even the other day, we're talking about hugging. Mm -hmm. Hugging is essential. It is needed. Mm -hmm. And if we're not having connection, um, that connection is a part of life. It is necessary. It's how we grow, it's how we bond, right. and we need to be touched and felt and yes. embraced and loved. To connect. So it is yeah. definitely necessary. Your Love More philosophy believes that when you learn and grow and share of yourself, that is when your soul comes to life. What is it that um, opens up your soul to living? Every single day, getting up, waking up by purpose. Purpose wakes me up, even when I'm not in the mood, you know, to share a video mm -hmm. or to share the light that is planted within. Mm -hmm. I'm reminded by the soft voice inside. We have to get up and share our light and our greatness. Yes. It is necessary. It is necessary. It is absolutely necessary. But people might think that, you know, if they don't have enough to give, of themselves because they're maybe in a struggle. Yes. Like they have to repair themselves before they can be of service to somebody else and help somebody else. What is your what are your words of wisdom with that? Um, absolutely. We um, if we are in a dark place, healing is absolutely necessary um, in terms of service, and uh, we just have to take the time to to heal to believe in ourselves, believe in ourselves. to love ourselves, yes. and to give ourselves that space and time. Because we all go through that, and we yes. all go through journey of healing. It's, it's an ongoing cycle. Yes, of course. 
We're going to leave it on that note. Thank you so much for being a part of the show again. You know I love you. Love Miss you Love More, Love More <laughs> Always. Thank you so much for having Absolute me. Absolute pleasure. That's all the time that we have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Natasha's Lips, Tips, and Great Flips is sponsored by AMMA Ajax Mixed Martial Arts Academy, offering classes in Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for all men and women. Sign up now for your free one-month membership. Also offering Women's Strength and Conditioning Body Blast Boot Camp includes a one-week free trial. St. Nadala Macedonian Orthodox Church, located in Ajax, Ontario, offering banquet hall facilities for your weddings, celebrations, and special events, accommodating up to 250 guests. Invictus Equality. We are the mistresses and the masters of our gender equality destiny. Synchronicity Durham. By collaborating within each level of the community, the main purpose of Synchronicity Durham is to empower every open-minded citizen in Durham region with the tools and resources to achieve their greatest dreams, goals, and passions. Thank you.